What's up, folks? My name is Patrick, your host as usual. Welcome to the Light Source Engraving YouTube channel. If it's your first visit, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, I greatly appreciate you being here. Today, I just wanted to give a quick introduction for the video that's going to roll after I'm done jabbering. And this video is introducing GCC Laser to you guys. It's a company you probably haven't heard of, but they make a lot of lasers under their own brand and lasers for other manufacturers and they have a wide variety so what i'm going to do is roll the interview that rich and i did with mckenzie of gcc at the isa show and then after that's done i want to go through their catalog and just flip through so you can get an idea of some of the products that they offer and that will wrap up this video for you so i hope you enjoy it Hey everybody, I am here with Mackenzie of GCC Laser, which is one of the oldest uh, laser companies in the world. And Mackenzie has been gracious enough to offer us some time today and tell us a little bit about the company. Thank you, Mackenzie, for having us today. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about GCC Laser and uh, the history and machines that you make and so on? Sure, not a problem. Thank you, Rich. First place, welcome Rich Patrick and all Thank your you. YouTube subscribers. Uh, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mackenzie. I'm with actually Joralink USA. Uh, we are a proud distributor of GCC for over 20 years. I have some of my colleagues here uh, over at the booth. Daniel, who will be explaining about the new machines. One of them is our fastest laser, and probably the fastest gantry laser in the market right now, about 175 inches per second. That's the fast, fastest one I've seen. It is, yes. So GCC has an extensive network of distributors throughout the world with a number of well-known companies for which they OEM equipment to. To be candid, JCC's brand is not yet so well recognized in the USA as it could be. And that is because GCC does not spend as much on advertising as they do in R&D. Their philosophy has always been to concentrate on building well-made machines with features that matter to production. We are here introducing two new machines to our, to our product line. These machines have been in beta tests now for about six months. I know our Japanese partner have sold over 5,000 units wow. throughout time, of course and have closely worked with GCC along with some of our other clients to provide input and features on these new model machines that we have. Awesome. I know Japan is very demanding on high quality products for production and their valued input has built into these machines. I know your viewers may want to know what is different, what actually separates us from, right. from our competitors. Right. It's difficult to say. You have some, we have some industry partners that are very good at what they do. Mm -hmm. Here in the US, we have competitors such as Epilogue or Trotec, whom we compete very well with our features. Uh -huh. We're high-end production equipment. Right. We do offer entry-level production equipment such as our desktop E200, it's a small particular desktop, or our C180 machine. They're pretty fast and reliable. They all have basically servo motors and they're open architecture electronics, awesome. which means there's many different type of programs, particular softwares that can run them. So, so that would be for the, uh, uh, you know, the small uh, private owner shop or garage right, yeah. business. But all our product line is open architecture. So you got programs out there like Corel, Draw, Adobe Illustrator, AutoCAD. Uh, I've had clients that use Microsoft Word or Excel to be able to run the, the equipment. So I believe we also have the only hybrid laser in the market that has two CO2 tubes built into it. Uh -huh. One is a glass tube and the other one's a metal tube. It's great for this industry, for the side industry. Right. Because in this industry, you have clients that want to do a lot of cutting, acrylic, etc., and they also want to do engraving. And really, RF tubes, the metal tubes, are the best for that industry. Absolutely. Most of all our tubes are actually made here in the USA. With that being said, I'd like to introduce Mr. Daniel, who can give you an explanation on the two, on the two new machines that we have. Okay. All right, so for this year, we're introducing our Piolis 400 
basically this is the Pioneer laser when it comes down to our name. Um, it comes in with a speed of 175 inches per second, two control panels, LCD and button. Um, we also have the optical smart vision, which is our CCD cameras here. For positioning, we have several options, standard origin mode, drag and engrave with relative center mode, smart center. Um, we also have new airflow design to keep cool air from mixing with hot air produced by the laser tube. This helps laser tube stability. We have a smart seal technology, which means our mechanics have dust prevention covers while being easy to maintain with easy access panels and a status LED bar on the top, which lets you know the operating condition from afar. The table on the machine is a 40 by 24 by 11 with pass-through door capabilities. This will come in three levels, either CL2, fiber, or dual hybrid. And this is our fastest gantry laser, 175 inches per second, probably one of the fastest in the market with our patent smart act technology. This helps reduce acceleration and deceleration that improves throughput to get jobs done faster. All right. Okay, what do we have here? So here we have our upgraded Spirit LS Pro. This is an upgrade to our older Spirit machine. Working speed of up to 120 inches per second. Table a size of 29 by 18 with a 6.5 inches on the Z-axis. It includes also our Smart Eye CCD camera and it has a Smart Guard fire alarm device to protect against fires. Closed loop DC servo control for precise movement of the laser carriage quick release measuring rulers as well on the table. We have support out of California for our dealers and clients. Let me show you our new Piolas 400 unit. By the way, it means Pioneer Laser for those that are wondering. Our machines are open architecture, which means any graphic program can drive them, such as Corral Draw, Adobe Illustrator, AutoCAD, and Mac's personal favorite, Engrave Lab. Can't say much about Lightburn, but I have been told to learn it, so I'll be making sure to watch our YouTube channel or your YouTube channel here, so I can be learning a lot from it. All right. So here on um, at GCC, we also offer different models available for your application. So we have something uh, such as an economy desktop size machine, the E200. Um, we also offer industrial size machines such as a T500. Um, really depending on your applicational needs, we usually try to find you the best machine suited for you. Dear, here we have their catalog, and you see the table of contents, laser engraving, laser cutting, laser marking, digital finishing equipment, and here's a nice picture of everything. They are based in Taiwan. They're a Taiwanese company. They do have a GCC America division. So here we have the Spirit series. Uh, the Spirit is what they had on display. So it would be this model here, I believe. And this was their new version they had on display at the show. Here they have the E200, which is a smaller laser. And then here's the desktop version. But they have a bunch of different models. So here's the E200. And what I want to get to is the Spirit series, which is what they uh, demoed in the video you saw. And here they have a feature called Drag in Play. But it says simply hand drag the lens carriage to the desired position to be engraved and press the start button. So you can just move the laser head around without resistance from the servo motors. And of course, they have autofocus and then a smart center, lights. They have. Uh, their camera system installed on all of these. Now their hybrids have a fiber and CO2 source built in. That's what their hybrid system is for this particular system. They also have another hybrid that has an RF CO2 tube and a gla glass CO2 tube. And then they have some other neat features such as this smart box where it produces a downforce draft so air is sucking through those little holes to hold your work pieces in place if you're not using the honeycomb the 
then they do have some bigger laser cutters and they also have some Galvo machines for their laser marking systems and then they have some sticker processing machines there's just a quick glance through the products that they produce in their catalog of course you can go to their website and check out more about their company and the products they produce